What's up guys, Boogie the Trainer, back again with another video. So I just wanted to make a quick video because I get this question so many times. All right guys, don't forget if you're new, please subscribe, like the video, and I appreciate your support. So guys, the time of the day of the last meal does not matter. So many people ask me, hey Boogie, what time should I eat my last meal before bed, two hours before bed, 6 p.m.? It doesn't matter what time you eat. It doesn't matter what time you eat your last meal. What matters is what type of food are you eating as your last meal? How much are you eating as your last meal? And lastly, how much activity did you have during the day? Okay, because think about this. If someone does not work out all day and they eat 3,000 calories, and even if they have those 3,000 calories, the last meal, let's say at around 4 p.m., but somebody else, right, who works out has the same number of calories, 3,000 calories, and then they eat their last meal right before bed, but they did have an active lifestyle all day. They worked out, they had their one hour, you know, walk, all right, they are 10,000 steps, they were not just sitting all day. Who do you think is going to gain weight, all right? Who do you think is going to be stronger? Who do you think is going to maintain a, a healthy lifestyle? Who do you think is going to maintain in good shape? Somebody who had an active lifestyle all day, even if they had their last meal right before bed. Because if, you, if your body was working all day, being active, burning calories, whatever calories you eat before you go to bed, the body is going to use those to, it's going to use the food for your recovery. The body is going to use the food for uh, building muscle, the body is going to use the food to, uh, to for 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 recovering your joints. If especially if you're working out, if you're lifting weights, if you're doing cardio, all right, that's what the body is going to use the food for. All right, so the time of the day of the last meal doesn't matter. What matters is what are you eating. Let me give you an example. If I have my last meal at 10 p.m. before bed. And I'm going to bed maybe before, I'm going to bed at 11 p.m. in the night, right? But if my last meal is just vegetables and, and, and chicken, and then somebody else has their last meal at 6 p.m., but they're having a whole pizza, you see, I had way less calories as my last meal, less, less carbs than somebody who had their, uh, their last meal five hours before bed, but they had a whole pizza, which... A thousand plus calories you see what I mean so what you eat and how much you eat is what matters and lastly how active was your day if you are not active you're just resting all day just sitting down then it's in your best interest to watch what you're going to eat all day not even just about the last meal all right it's not just about the last meal it's about it's about what type of food are you gonna eat as your last meal or even during the day because so many people are worried about the last meal, yet all day they were eating trash. So all day if you're eating excess calories, excess, excess junk, sodas, pizzas, cookies, cakes, and all those things, it doesn't matter what time you eat as you, your last meal. The fact remains that all day you are eating trash. All day you are not working out. All day you are sitting down. You didn't go out to walk. You didn't go out to, to jog. You didn't go out to ride a bike. You didn't go out to work out. You didn't go to the gym. So what time you eat as your last meal, it doesn't matter. So I have got this question so many times. Again, the time of the day of your last meal doesn't matter. Even if you eat and then right away go to bed, what matters is what did you eat? That's one. How much did you eat? Because obviously you're going to bed, so you don't need so many calories, right? Because your body is going to be resting. Okay? At the same time, is how active were you during the day? So, how active were you during the day? How much are you going to eat before you go to bed? How much did you eat all day? Because if all day you are eating too much, you probably don't even have to worry about your last meal because you're already way over your calories. So, it doesn't matter right now. The only thing you can do is probably not even eat at all because you had a bad day of overeating. Okay? So, at the end of the day, if your calories... For, uh, if you're trying to lose weight and your calories are supposed to be maybe 1,800 calories for the day, 
your focus should be on the total number of calories, not what time of the day. Not, oh, should I eat before bed or not? No. It's about, did you work out all day? Were you active? How much calories have you, have you had all day until your last, until before you go to bed? That's what matters, guys. All right? So don't be worried about the time of the day that you eat. Be worried about the number of calories. Be worried about what type of calories. Okay? Because if I have fruits before bed, I'm way, and those are just carbs, right? They're just carbohydrates. I'm way better than someone who's going to have cookies, who's probably going to have way more calories in that type of carbohydrates. So the type of, of food, number of calories, and how active were you during the day? On days that I'm not active, I eat way less. On days that I'm active, I eat a little bit more because my body needs the food for recovery. So if you find this video in, in, uh, useful to you, like the video, subscribe, all right, share it with your friends, all right, and if you need my help, one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you need to help ask me any questions, I have a link down below for only $5 a month, you can get to support me, and I, as I give you more, more information and more uh, useful tips on diet and fat loss, all right, peace.